Good everybody, Tradicop here. Hope you are all very well. Well, well, well. What about me? What's going on here? What's going on in the markets? Well, I'm exhausted. Why am I exhausted? Because I've spent the last, oh, at least one full month of compiling content for my Fibonacci boost. Of course, you are aware of this and it is now ready. I've recorded everything and my eyes hurt. <laughs> I'm very tired. I'm very exhausted. But you can now uh, get ready because I've got my team. They are working very hard to get everything Thing up onto the website for you to purchase and get access to the members area for this Fibonacci booster strategy. It's an absolute ripper of a strategy and will help to complement all your other trading strategies, i.e. the Bitcoin breakout and the crypto cradle. It's a real compliment to those. Now, all you've got to do is go to tradercob.com, register for the bi-weekly video newsletter, and you'll work out how you can get a 20% discount. That's all you got to do. So, the markets have come off. No doubt about that, is there? We have come off. We said that level 8,000, we, you know, we pull back and we continue to be in this downtrend. Will we break these lows? I don't know. We've uh, we hit 8,000. We held above 8,000. I'd love to see a higher low here. Please give me one. But the reality is at the moment, we're looking likely to move lower. We have good convergence here on our two hour chart. I actually want to go to the four hour. And you can see here, here's a new low, here's a new lower low, lower high, lower low. It's very much in a downtrend on the four hour, and that momentum looks to be holding so far. 8,000, we're below it. If we can hold above it, we'll see how we go. But right now, as a trader, I'm looking for momentum to the downside. Why? Because the market is moving that way. Now, a couple of other trades that we've uh, that, that have been that have popped up recently. We're obviously looking to make money as the market falls. Or a great little Bitcoin breakout. Um, you know, I'm not hindsight trading this. I'm just showing you a great little trade that went out to uh, my members. You guys, are, you guys know of that. Everybody knows about that. That's in the group, and you can see that if you actually did take this, there's a potential for a stop loss movement. Now, this trend is also down. It is down quite strongly. But one thing I can say, one thing I can out of that Bitcoin cash is look where we are, and this is why we draw in our support and resistance lines going back a long way support 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 and look we're sitting right about that level right now around that nine hundred dollars actually actually down about 860 ish around that sort of levels where that support lies and um, we do have what looks like to be divergence if we were to break down right now then we probably would have divergence on these lows that being said this is very much in a downtrend the only thing holding it is support if we look at ethereum it's had quite a bit of a sell-off as well now let's have a look here. Okay, I'll get rid of that line. There we go. You can see a really nice downtrend playing out here on Ethereum. It has been for quite some time. Again, a uh, support level that was broken very fiercely and now a new lower high. So again, good strong trend there uh, on Ethereum to the downside. Another one I want to have a look at is Neo and then finally Litecoin because uh, again, we can have a look here at NEO on the four hour, lower highs, lower lows, and really rolling over with some very strong convergence there. And again, on the daily that we pulled back, we get back into that cradle zone, bearish candle broke the lows, and it continues to run off. Trading strategies around this cradle zone are very good. Knowing how to short markets is very handy. Litecoin again, moved down, pulled back into the zone, bearish candle breaking down through there. A couple of levels drawn in, I'll get rid of those because they're no longer relevant as price made new lower lows. But let's have a look here. Again, a, a nice resist, sorry, a nice support level test. One, two, three. Lower high, lower high, lower high. Bitcoin breakout. Run, she goes. Uh, a definite nice support level that was running through there. As it breaks, look what happens when support breaks. We tend to see quite a serious move after that. This trend is very much in a downtrend. Very, very bearish indeed. And we are seeing that extension across the market at the moment, reflecting uh, the bearishness seeing, the sentiment we're seeing in Bitcoin. Where can we go to? Well, anywhere really. Uh, yeah, I'm not too concerned. If we break the low of this candle here, then yes, we're probably likely to see new lows, maybe head to 6,000. For the time being though, uh, I remain focused, poised, and wait to see how the market plays out. Uh, I do have um, a nice couple of hedges in, or a nice hedge currently at the moment, and I'm pretty happy to sit back and just watch and see how the markets unfold. So guys, don't forget to jump onto the podcast each day, because I give you little snippets each and every single day to start your day off, plus other special guests and whatnot. And don't forget, the Fibonacci Booster course will either be ready to tonight but definitely within the next 24 hours or so to get your taste the first people in the world to this amazing strategy in crypto so go ahead join tradercob.com it's a free subscription to get access to a big discount have a great day bye for now